Well, here now with us is uh, sports journalist Natasha Henry to discuss the release of footballer and convicted rapist Ched Evans. He's expected to leave prison this morning, but uh, should he return to professional football? I mean, that's the question that everybody's asking, really. What, what, what's your view? Personally, I think I'm not against someone having a second chance because people do make mistakes, but I don't believe he should leave prison today and walk straight back into a professional football team, no. We were talking about this before, uh, Michelle Gell's on reviewing the papers, and she was saying if his job was that of a, a bin man, would we be objecting to him returning to work straight away? Um, I, I think that's a very valid point because if he was a bin man, would he be able to walk straight back into a job? It's very unlikely. He has been convicted of rape, even though he still maintains his innocence. He will be on licence for the remainder of the five years and he'll be on the sex offenders register. There's bigger issues about what he can do in his life in regards to working alongside and with children. And it seems like a lot of people are, are missing that point. That, that is another thing that, that, that came out, the fact that he is a role model. There are many young people who, who look up to footballers, rightly or wrongly. Will he be able to resume that role at all? I think if you make a mistake and you atone and you learn from that, then of course you can be a role model because it's about coming from the bottom up, so to speak. But I think at the present time, he needs to take a step back from football and concentrate on rebuilding his life. I don't think it's in anyone's benefit to see him on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, the club, his club, Sheffield United, haven't made a decision yet, and it seems very unlikely that he'll be back in training tomorrow and then playing at the weekend. It won't happen as quickly as that. But Fraser Maud, our reporter who's covering the story, said that he'd spoken to a sample of Sheffield United fans, and they're saying, well, he's served his time, he's been convicted, he should go back to his normal job and play for the club again. It seems that the fans of, of the football club would quite like to see him back and do, doing his job and ignoring everything else that, that's gone on. Perhaps. I think there's a there's a, a mixture of fans some are for and some are against he hasn't served his time it's time spent he was sentenced to five years he's only done two and a half maybe if we wait until the end of that five years people may feel like it's acceptable for him to be on the pitch but I think right now it's too soon and we're forgetting the victim in all this and what she's going through and the fact that we're discussing whether he can just walk back to his normal life when she probably hasn't but do you believe in second chances, though? I do believe in second chances. But I don't believe that second chances come the day after an incident happens. I think that takes time and that takes work. And whether that's attending classes or re-educating yourself. It's all I, about rehabilitation. Yes, it is. He, someone said to me yesterday, he's being released, but is he rehabilitated? Mm. Which is a wider issue about prison mm. in general. There would have been courses on offer to him. We don't know if he took those courses or took that opportunity to rehabilitate. And until we know a bit more about the time he spent in prison, then maybe you know, we should hold judgment, I think. Natasha, thank you very much for your views. Well, of course, 150,000 people have signed uh, an online petition saying that Sheffield United shouldn't reinstate him. Uh, it'd be interesting to hear your views, news at sky.com, uh, just really what you think on that issue. Um, staying with sport, we're going to see what's coming up now with, uh, with John. Gillian, thank you. It's the Liverpool manager.